Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Software Automation Experience. So today I am back with another most useful video of uh, using uh, the JSON extractor to extract any value from the JSON response. So if you don't want uh, to code it uh, to get the, uh, to extract any value, so we JSON has uh, Jmeter has provided um, inbuilt JSON extractor. We can make use of that to extract any value from the JSON ok this is very simple uh, let me show you how to do that so uh, let me just give, give you the overview of this uh, already uh, sh um, uh, already present uh, test suit this is the test suit I have created for uh, read or get data from uh, JSON response uh, if you want to achieve this, uh, if you want to accomplish this, please click on the i button, i, I icon uh, at the top. Uh, it will uh, get, it will take you to the uh, video of this, and you can accomplish this post tag. So here, what I am, I have just created a patient resource in the database. So this is the patient resource. Uh, in the next uh, request, what I'll go, uh, what I'll do is, I'll just try to fetch the same patient uh, using the patient id and another request i will just create to uh, uh, fetch the patient details using patient identifier value okay so uh, let us uh, just take you let us uh, let us just uh, let me just show you uh, how to do that uh, what i'll do is uh, i uh, since I have shown you in the previous video that uh, we can store these uh, patient ID as a variable um, like this using vas.put and uh, then we can make use of it into another HTTP requests. So uh, this, in this video what I am going to show is uh, I will not uh, make use of any coding at all okay, to read this uh, response. So to, in order to uh, avoid these many lines of code what I'll do is I'll just disable it by just one uh, pressing ctrl T okay this is disabled now it will not execute what I'll do is from this response I will I want to read uh, the JSON value so I'll add uh, JSON extract right click on uh, HTTP request add uh, post processor JSON extract Okay. so the name will be the JSON extractor uh, as you want you can keep that response extract data from JSON extract data from JSON response okay. so what I'll do is I'm just checking the main sample of the response okay what I'll do is names of created variable so whatever value I just want to extract I can store it what name I want to store there that as a variable, uh, the name of the variable I can give, to which I can make use into another HTTP uh, request. This is uh, this is to achieve uh, like how to use uh, the data read from this request into another request. Okay, so what I'll do first of all, uh, let me not name it. I'll just want to read. The patient ID from the uh, response, the so JSON path. So from my response, what I'll do is, uh, what I'll get is, uh, let me first execute this and just see what is the uh, response I am getting. Okay, uh, first of all, so click on clear all, press start. Okay, create a patient. Patient has been created. So it has got executed successfully and uh, this is the response so i want to fetch this id okay so id means uh, what i'll do is in the json extract data from json extractor i'll go here i'll write it as dollar dot copy this id dollar dot id so i'm just uh, extracting id value patient id value and i will store this as patient underscore id okay for now keep it as it is or uh, you can keep it as uh, one to uh, get get me the first match uh, from the list okay this will get the first match and uh, keep it as it is if 
the ID does not count. Write it as patient ID not count. It will throw me the this error. Okay. What I'll do is uh, to make use of this patient ID, I'll create one more HTTP request inside this simple controller at uh, sampler HTTP request of this. So name it as uh, get patient details everything patient ID. Let me configure this request. Go to Postman. Get the details of that request. So this is the URL. Paste it here. So I'll just take the protocol quickly. I will configure this. Remove this. Take the server name. Paste it here. Remove this. Take the port number. 8000. Paste it here. And this is the path. And I don't want to hard code this value. This is the patient ID value I need to pass. This is the place. For that, what I'll do is I'll just copy the variable name in which I have stored the patient ID in the previous request. This is in create a patient resource uh, request. I have uh, read the response and stored that uh, the value of the patient ID to patient ID variable. So to pass uh, this uh, the value from this HTTP request to another HTTP request, so what I'll do is I'll just make use of all the personal cases. Okay. As this is the get request, no need of adding any body data. So add just the response assertion for this. Uh, check the main sample. Go to response port. Uh, that should be equals to two. Okay. Control S, so it will check if it, this request gives me 200. Okay. okay, so let me just execute this uh, request, clear the whole data, and then press click on start. This request, both of the requests got executed successfully. First is created uh, a patient resource, it has given me 201 created response. This is the patient data stored. Patient ID is 758. Let me just see if this ID is passed or if this ID is used in another HTTP request uh, which is get patient details uh, using patient ID. This request has given me 200 OK response. Let me just check the uh, request. In the request, it has passed the same ID, patient ID 758, and we have got the response as this patient id with uh, with id 758 and we have the identifier value uh, which contains system and the value for okay so this way uh, we can uh, make use of uh, json extractor to pass the variable uh, to store the variables and pass these values throughout the test suite in any of the http request any of the thread group uh, also uh, across the thread group also you can pass these uh, values let me uh, extract one more value here so in order to extract one more value if you want to extract multiple values what will you do how will you do that so let me show you uh, if you want to extract uh, um, identifier value okay so what i'll do is i'll just write it as if semicolon space uh, dollar dot identifier and its value is uh, there inside an array. Uh, two uh, brackets we have one is uh, square bracket and another one is curly brace. So hence we will add it as dollar identifier dot identifier dot dot value. Okay. Press control S, this will be saved. And I want to pass this value what uh, uh, what is the variable name i want to store it this value into so that variable name we can give here uh, semicolon space identifier okay control s and this one you give it as uh, minus one okay so since it will take the uh, these values both of these values and uh, click on uh, this as compute concatenation bars as write mark and then what is the error if the identity 
identifier does not found identifier not found error i want to show. okay so let me uh, make use of this identifier into one more http request so add one more http request to add it i will copy just this http uh, same i'll duplicate make a duplicate copy of this and just uh, uh, modify it uh, get patient details with the patient identifier okay. so uh, here everything will be same protocol and uh, server name and the port number only the path difference we can see here so let me just copy the path slash space r4 slash patient and identifier in the query parameter so this value i will pass it from the red variable so what is my variable which i have read in the first uh, request this i have read it as identifier stored it as identifier so i just want to pass that value here in order to pass it make use of dollar curly braces identifier okay so this is the get request and it also it, al it already has a response uh, code check so that will check if it so if it gives 200 okay otherwise it will throw an error and this request will fail so let me just uh, let me just execute this and check if this identifier value is passed and the request is working fine or not okay just go to view registry clear all click on start as you can see uh, the second request got failed here not sure why let me just go ahead check it so go to sample result first and see uri syntax exception is thrown and just click on this request and see this patient id variable is not resolved here what is the problem let us just go and check uh, what went wrong here dollar dot id i have passed and i have passed it as patient id and also here as the patient id so let me just check what is any if there is any logs anything is written click on this log viewer button and see uh, there is nothing uh, on here it should work actually let me just try and uh, run it once again click on start it again throws that this variable value is not resolved but uh, as you can see the identifier value is resolved here okay uh, we have got the identifier value which is stored and uh, this request got executed successfully it gave us 200 okay response and then what is the response in this response we have got so many of the patient uh, details which are stored for that same identifier value okay I'll show you the identifier value. Right? One two three seven eight six. What is the one two three seven eight six in the request? One two three seven eight six in the response. So this way we can uh, make use of JSON extractor. Let me just check why this request is failing. Uh, URI syntax exception I am getting, but not sure why this is not resolved. Okay, maybe some problem here only. Okay, so dollar okay fine let me just take the first match of it first match for id and space first match for identifier value okay just save this and execute okay. as you can see all of the three requests got executed successfully as we have got in green so first request yeah, is creating the uh, patient resource with the uh, 201 created response and the patient details 761 is the patient id let me just check if this uh, patient id is passed to another http request so next request we have is uh, to get the patient details it has given me 200 ok and the patient id passed is 761 and the response is this one ok and the Identifier value we have is 123786. Let me just check if this has passed to another HTTP request. So, our sample result has given 200 OK. Request the request contains the identifier value which exactly match with the uh, value which is present in the response of the first request that is 123786. Okay, 
and we have got the successful response there are so many of uh, patient resources they are stored in a bundle resource type bundle with the uh, which are having the identifier value as 1 2 3 7 and 6 okay so this way we can uh, mm, make use of json extractor to extract any value uh, from the json response and store it into variables and pass it across the test store to any other uh, http request or any other sampler or any other thread group be it any of the thread group uh, across the test suit we can pass it so uh, this is not just uh, making use of uh, creating it uh, creating and making use of the same uh, http request but uh, throughout the uh, test suit we can make use of it so this way uh, to uh, we can avoid coding this and just make use of json extractor a simple step to achieve this so that's all uh, in this video guys if you uh, get stuck in somewhere uh, you can uh, write this into comments i will try to uh, resolve your queries and uh, till the, uh, if you like this video uh, please subscribe uh, to my channel software automation experience and uh, write into write uh, into comments like which uh, on which topic you need uh, the next videos i will try to make okay uh, till the next video uh, stay tuned guys thank you